So we're hanging out at the Palladium with Mark and Flip from Alter Bridge. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me, guys. Thank you. There's a guy named uh, uh, Mike, actually, that's on his way over to take your guitar. Take it, Mike. How many guitars do you give away? Uh, you know, I think... Do you steal them? No. You know, PRS is very generous with... They know it's, it's a promotional item. You know, we get to yeah. go get on the air and say, guitar, PRS guitars. And some people are like, I didn't know there was one, so I'm going to get one. So we'll give away just, to, you know, enough to get Well, that was very cool because he won and now he gets to take your guitar home. So that's awesome. It. A lot of these people don't play it. They either sell them or they hang them on their wall or lose them. I would totally yeah. sell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you could personalize it, and then it guarantees it'll never end up on eBay. Yes. But you're also doing, um, like, guitar lessons and stuff while you're out on the road. How is that for you, like, sitting down and actually teaching people? I like it. You know, it keeps me, um, it keeps me busy all day long. I don't like just sitting around playing on my phone, playing video. I like to get stuff done and play guitar. It keeps me on my game. And um, this tour, I've been teaching songwriting kind of stuff. You know, my manager was like, why don't you do a clinic on songwriting? By the time I responded to him, I said, it's kind of tough teaching somebody how to write such a subjective ca capture of lightning in a bottle thing. He's like, I'm like, we shouldn't do it. He goes, dude, it's already on sale. Oh. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. Is that the manager's job is just to make you do things? Or yeah. like, trust me, this is going to be a good idea. Yeah. Just trust yeah. me. Take my advice. How do I prepare for this? So I just try and write stuff with people in a room. It's fun. Well, you guys have been writing songs for so long. And was it Pete Townsend that just came out and said that all the ideas on the electric guitar are gone? Was yes. he the one that just said well, that? It's probably been said a lot of times. There's only, it's, there's, there's not a lot of notes on the guitar. There's a minute, you know, tons of combinations, but everything's been done. That's why I like to use alternate tunings and do as many different things as we can to keep it interesting, you know? What about making drums out of different things like i just had mike mangini in the studio not too long ago oh, yeah. and we made him play a drum set but no drums could be used interesting like garbage cans and uh, trash can lids suitcases buckets i got a guy if you want me to build you an alternative drum set i know a guy can, can we do that right now with him we make that <laughs> box over here we could probably figure it out yeah, we got duct yeah. tape we're good to go yeah yeah we'll, we'll come up with something um uh, you know, I guess it's all rhythm. If you can make patterns that, you know, mean something to somebody, then I guess you can play whatever it is. Spoon man. You know? yeah. yeah, spoons. You can make noise out of anything. Exactly. The last time you were in the studio, you were with your other project, Tremonti, and you were like, we're wrapping up this tour with Seven Dust, and then it's all Alter Bridge. Have you had a chance to go home and relax, take any time off at all? And yeah. Um, we recorded the record how many months ago? Yeah, we started in March, I think. I love that you guys never know anything. You're yeah, like, I don't, I'm you're really, the, you're the really keeper of the calendar. Before. Yeah, like the, you know, the times of year when we're in certain parts of the country. He, 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 you may want to move that microphone up because that video guy, will, he bench presses a lot. I don't want to I can hurt see you. that. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Yeah, sorry. He, um, so you're the keeper of the calendar. Yeah, for the most part, for the most part. I'm not always 100% right, but I'm, I'm generally in the ballpark. Did you decide to record the album at home, or did you need to get away? We did it at home. Yeah? Did yeah. Home, Our yeah. producer at lives least 10 minutes from us. So he, he moved from Virginia Beach all the way down to Orlando just because we work you know, together so much. Yeah. And it's easier for you guys to shut everything off and make a record like that? You don't need to escape to focus? No, we've done it both ways, you know, and it's not anything particularly different from one cycle to the next. It's just... Uh, you know, let's let's do this one in Nashville, or let's do this one in Miami, or or whatever. And we've done them in Orlando as well. And I think it's you know, we both are you know married and have kids. Brian's married and has a couple kids now. Uh, it's you know, I think we've done a really good job of sort of balancing the family life and family time with work life and work time. And we've kind of got a rhythm on it now so well the new album's called walk the sky and it comes out on the 18th so what can you tell me about it because we've only heard the single they don't give me advances because they know that i'll play them for everybody and i'll <laughs> yeah. leak them um we've we've leaked now our fifth song today or yesterday right yesterday i think yeah um it's the fourth or fifth so you don't even know he knows uh, uh, i think it's the fifth maybe is, the is it the fifth? fifth we got the single we got pain on mine we got take the crown we got this new uh, Dying Light. And Anything then else? we did In the Deep. Uh, in the deep yeah. So this is our fifth song we put out um, every two or three weeks just to keep the fan base 
um, engaged and ready for the record. So mm -hmm. we released Dying Light yesterday and um, the record's out just a couple weeks. So what what is different about this? And I, I ask because I ran the marathon in April and so many of the songs off of Blackbird came up on my running playlist. Nice. Oh, yeah. it, Before Tomorrow Comes, yeah. literally not even exaggerating, helped get me across the finish line. That song, I was messaging you lyrics. I was <laughs> tweeting you lyrics. I'm like, oh my God, this song is helping so much. And it was one of those songs that I just remember being out in the rain, five hours in, mm, just yeah. miserable. And that song came on and I was like, you know what? Yes, I needed this right now. That's right. Well, this record is gonna be a good running record. I think you're gonna like it for your runs. Yeah. No, 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 I'm retired, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I ran one marathon, I'm done. Yeah. Well, if you ever get- But I will walk and listen to yeah. it, yeah. But if anybody else is doing, doing the run, um, it's a good running record. A lot of up-tempo stuff. Um, yeah. We added some, some synth stuff to this record. I'm not a big fan of rock or metal with a lot of synth in there but uh we stumbled upon some synth wave stuff like there's a band called gunship they have a song called tech noir and i heard it and loved it sent it to miles he loved it too i said we should try to incorporate some of this not not normal polished synth but the old school 80s kind of stuff and um, we did that on and there's a few songs it. there's one song where it's kind of featured predominantly but the other ones it, it's just little textures it's yeah. we're not, we're not so the old that. adage that you can't teach a do an old dog new tricks is not necessarily true because even now yeah. this many years later into the songwriting process for you guys you're still looking to take chances and try new things sure. you have sure. to you're going to bore your fan base you're going to bore yourselves if you yeah. don't keep on doing something we try to look for a different color to add to each record uh, it's easy just to find new tunings it's always going to be the easy way to, to get stuff to sound a little different but when you add a whole nother instrument it's it's stepping out there a little bit I wanted to talk to you guys about Creed because in the very early days of Creed, WAF was there. Absolutely. And we're getting ready to celebrate our 50th anniversary in 2020. So I had a chance to sit down with Scott recently when he was in town and I wanted to find out from you guys because um, he told me the, the funny, not so funny story about your gear getting stolen on that first gig oh, that you yes, played in Boston. Yes, and we have put out the APB about that Les Paul that you're still missing. Yeah, We've been yeah. trying to get people. Will you find his yeah. freaking Les Paul and give it back to him? Broke my heart. But do you have any positive Boston memories from the early oh, yeah, days? Yeah, yeah. Do you guys have a story that you could tell me from the early days when you guys came to Boston? We're trying to compile all of these stories, the old stuff for the for the history books yeah. with our 50th anniversary coming. Can you believe we're 50? That's crazy. I mean, I think we look yeah. great. Thank we're you, great. thank you. I remember when um, when Boston was um, was it the it was playoff time, right? When yeah. uh, we came and played, and our buddy Johnny Damon uh, was playing. Honestly. I love it how you're so flippant about it. You're just like, my buddy Johnny Damon, you know. Oh, I, you know that guy that helped break the curse of the Bambino? You know that guy. Right. Johnny literally lives d two houses away from me in, in Orlando. We're, bu we're, we're buds. And um, he he came out, him, and he brought maybe three or four players out with him. So as soon as they won that game, they ran across the street to the venue we were playing at, got on stage and sang with us. Um, <laughs> and this is, you know, when Red Sox were everywhere. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Moment. It yeah. was great. So. Yeah, we didn't sleep for weeks. Yeah. We, that series was was insane. It was awesome. Yeah. That was. And and like being right, yeah. like there, yeah, like absolutely. being in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's it's been a very crazy time since then. Like the between the Patriots and I mean all of the teams have yeah. just. There's been such a run in this city that we're afraid of the cliff. Because we know it's coming at some point. It's just going to go. It's inevitable. And we're going to have an excuse of why we're miserable pricks all over again. Right now, when we're miserable pricks, nobody understands why. Bring right. Johnny out of retirement. <laughs> get him exactly. Get him running. With Is he you. happy that he lives down in Florida so idiots like us aren't like banging on his door all the time going, you won the World Series. Like, that was awesome. No, he's constantly flying around doing uh, appearances with the Yankees. And I, I think more of the Yankees than the Red Sox nowadays. But um, they fly him out there and they shake hands and have parties. And yeah, he, he loves it. I asked Gavin Rossdale this question, and you guys are so ingrained with sports that, you know, it seems that musicians want to be actors, actors want to be athletes, athletes want to be musicians. Sure. You know, is, is there some... 
other creativity realm? Like, is there like a rock star hockey league we don't know about? Or, you know, do you guys have those aspirations too? Or Beer pong? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a, we do have beer pong tournaments. He puts on a big tournament at his house. Like there was about 50, 50 teams. Yeah, yeah. We, Everybody had to have specialized shirts. You had wardrobe. Well, you can't have a beer pong team without a specialized shirt. So yeah. huge event. Like the, the intro of the show was a, was a video that his, him and his brother made where his brother dresses up his balls in different <laughs> characters. Yeah. It's, it's hard to explain. He'd have to explain. Wait, hold, hold, hold on. He dresses, he puts costumes on his balls. Yeah. Yeah, so he... Uh, this is going to be on the highlight reel for the 75th yeah. anniversary? Like this right here. Somehow, and uh, we've been sort of threatening to put it on YouTube, and he's like, totally just do it. Get it over with. Just but, give it to me. Let me so, put it up. Uh, then you so have plausible deniability. It was, a, it was an 80s theme party, uh, and uh, my brother has this talent. I don't know how he discovered it. <laughs> and I know it's, it's not genetic because I can't do it. I've tried. But he can make each one of his nuts bounce up and down. <laughs> To like music. Is this a normal thing? No, I don't have them, so I don't thing. know. No, no, I, I don't know how he does it, but somehow he figured out that, that he had this ability, and then um, we made a couple of goofy videos where he was dressed up as Maverick from Top Gun and E.T., uh, e. Mr. T., uh, the, the dirty dancing at the end with the lift. Oh, I know the lift. Yeah. yeah. With a, like a Ken doll or whatever, it's it's. But that's the intro video for really this awesome up. beer pong <laughs> tournament. It's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Hundreds of people, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe 100, 150 people. About a hundred, probably. And me yeah, and John yeah. Connolly partnered up and won, took the trophy home that year. Yeah, he and, he and we're still John the champions because he hasn't had another tournament since. Yeah. Maybe well, maybe this next year. John's in like hardcore training, like with the swimming and the biking, and I don't know if you're ever going to yeah, beat they, him in anything. They just did an Ironman uh, over the weekend. Yeah, we were comparing training notes the oh, last yeah. time they were in oh, town. Yeah, uh, he finished. I don't know where he finished. Yeah, it doesn't him. matter. You just got to finish. He's obsessing about it. Yeah. He's, he's, he was making me feel like crap with my Instagram stuff, training for the marathon, and he was like, oh, yeah, cute marathon. Check this out, Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, great. Thanks, John. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, when I asked you about athletic athletic endeavors I wasn't expecting juggling balls but I guess I should just expect anything with that's, you guys it's been it. what 20 something years and still going yeah still doing yeah. since 97 right yeah 97 yeah. I love how like you uh, every knows. statement you make you go right is that right I don't yeah. I, my memory is that right my memory's crap he knows yeah. everything he's, I, I can sort of he's a steel trap visualize uh dates and stuff like that. really you have like, that Kind well, it's a math thing. Like, You're a drummer. That makes total yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know that you guys have to go eat. Like, you are on a schedule. They, no, I mean, so you got to go eat, and you have to give your guitar away. Yes. Yes. See, he's over there. He's like, yes, I get your guitar. So thank you guys for this, Yeah, can we take a look guitar, at this thing yeah. before you give it away? Let's check it out. I don't know what finish you got. Could be purple. Chartreuse. Ooh, wow. look at that yeah. thing. Charcoal is what we call that finish. That is nice. Yeah. yeah. See, that's what you get when you win a contest at WAF. You get Mark's guitar. That's right. Well, thank yeah. you guys for coming and hanging out with me. Thanks for having us. Yeah, Thanks absolutely. for giving away your guitar for right. us. As long as it gets played. And thank you for sending me all of your brother's nutsack videos You're in welcome. advance. Because You're welcome. I'm anticipating the drop they, box uh, of just, just send them all. We'll, 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 we'll do a big do release one of these days. Yeah, please. Yeah. I'm sure he's happy to hear you it call be, it a big release. Because he's <laughs> be banned in 80 countries. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for checking out the videos. And uh, Alter Bridge will be up on stage later at the Palladium. Yeah. Bye.